Eagles in fourth in the NFL in receiving yards. It's the Eagles and the Cowboys. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A look there at his numbers on the ground a week ago. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. He's going deep for Brown. And this is taken in at the five. A big play there for Philly. 53 yards. Well, that didn't take long. The second play from scrimmage, this one nearly goes the distance, and now, what a start. You're barely on the field, and you're already set up first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Barkley. It's into the end zone for an eagle touchdown. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had to speed to win that race. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, what a juke into space! And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Well, the Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And he's coming off one of the best seasons of his career where he finished as a runner-up in the MVP chase after throwing for over 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, and less than 10 interceptions for the first time in a few years. An integral part of the Cowboys' run to the playoffs, he's hoping to take it a step further here in 2024. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And that'll bring up second down. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week in practice as if they were going to play. And when you have guys like that on your team, you've got a chance for success when the injury bug hits. Third down and six. To throw his press gun. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm 
care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The run hasn't worked the last couple of plays. Now it's third and 14. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 26. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Looking to throw. Prescott going right back to Ferguson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another first down as he went right back to the same well. This time for 17 yards. Prescott now. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Touchdown, Cowboys! Devin Duvernay, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. That time, a nine-play drive, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Eagles' offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's been a real threat, not just with the arm, but with the wheels as well. NFL's leader amongst quarterbacks in terms of rushing touchdowns. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Steps away. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest game. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Here's Hurts to throw over the middle, hauled in by Campbell. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Throwing his hurts. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Eagles have taken the lead.
So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt. That one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Play action now. Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here now a third down and eight. Throwing. Prescott. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately to me, four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play, not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Hurts sets up to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. The Eagles at 500 now, four and four on the year. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. You look at this Cowboy defense. And they played well against the pass, currently ranked seventh in the NFL. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL, but it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, sir. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. They'll set up a throw. And he is caught. 
And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. They'll drop the throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But following the play here, now we've got an injury. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. The Eagles on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs, and their run game got them another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown, his first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Elliott Good with a PAT, and it's now 21-7. to so that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The tackle by Nicobe Dean. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him. Oh, Prescott stripped. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Well, offensively lucky they were able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it, changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. They'll look to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there catch those safeties creeping up trying to help against the running game they tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Looking to throw. Oh, he's going to look downfield for Barkley. This is intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Dallas offense set for this next drive. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They go to Elliott again. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. That'll be a 47-yard punt officially, five on the return. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're... Solid run by Saquon Barkley. And another first and ten here. Play action. Here's Hurts. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. First down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they'll get this down to the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. He has really thrown the ball well here in this first half. You see the numbers up over 200 passing yards already. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have moved out in front by three touchdowns. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. That time, a six-play drive. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Here's Prescott. He's got his running back out of the backfield. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They'll throw again. Prescott. Open man is Duvernay. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Prescott now. This is caught. It's Cox. And all the way down inside the five to the four. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. To throw is Prescott. And it's caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the run. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Elliott diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Well, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into... And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles would extend their lead here just before halftime. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he will score. Touchdown. It's an 83-yard kick return touchdown. And the Cowboys are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. It's been a back-and-forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming. And that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 30 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, and that is incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll begin just outside Washington at Commander Field in Landover, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Roman Wilson, a touchdown catch in the victory. From there, we head all the way out west to see what's happening with the L.A. Chargers. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Tennessee Titans. D.J. Chark, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, let's get to the desert to check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And it's the visiting Jets who have the lead in that one. Aaron Rodgers with two touchdown passes. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. With both of these offenses having their way, it's not likely they'll need to be doing a whole lot at halftime. But the defenses are definitely in need of some adjusting. And for the call of the second half, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. And it's a pretty good return here as we get this up to the 29. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a point of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Here's second and 10. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Prescott. Touchdown! Cowboys! Brandon Cooks! 36 yards! And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. The PAT good. It would draw them closer. But hold on just a second. A flag is down on the field. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 right at the 30. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And running with power here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 57 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. The numbers throwing the ball have been great. He's up over 300 yards now for the game. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 36. Here's Hurts to throw. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Campbell. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Hurts. He'll get that complete to Albert O. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. Now a toss right to Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Campbell. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Brandon Cooks to the Cowboys offense back out there. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game. But so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, makes, you do. Makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Off the play fake, Prescott. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring us to a third and four. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Prescott off play action. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness, there was no one around him, but he took his eye off it, and it falls incomplete. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hands, and a potential big play goes by the wayside. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. script. 
scrimmage the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Now he's loose at the 40. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. 101 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And his fine afternoon on the ground continues. That last run going to put him over 100 yards for the ball game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run it again with Barkley. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. Second down and three. Hurt sets up to throw it. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is incomplete. These guys have to set up for a field goal the last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. Wow, that qualifies as a bad miss because anything inside of 40 should be automatic. That's a big mistake right there. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now Prescott, over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Here's a second and eight. Inside give to Elliott. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. The Cowboys on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and six. Looking to throw, Prescott. As to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A first down carry by Elliott. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. They work now on second and nine. Prescott to throw it. Left side to Lamb. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of eight there on the play. And that will bring up third and one. Play action now. Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing, Prescott. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. And again, it's Prescott. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Prescott on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jake Ferguson, a 15-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Aubrey good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 116 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. They need two. Here's third down. They'll drop the throw. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. And now we're going to get a stoppage. Remember the Cowboys shake it up. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on the punt for the first time this afternoon. Thirty-three yards is the distance on the punt there, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own forty-two. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lamb. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. The give is to Elliott. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys have taken a fourth quarter lead. So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead. And I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. <laughs> the salt, little pepper, yeah, goes hey, down pretty easily. I will admit when I make a mistake. Well, it looked like it was going that way. This is one of those paging Frank Reich moments, and I can't believe I just brought that up because Frank Reich at Maryland in college did it to my Tennessee Volunteers, oh. and I was a big reason why my team lost. Sounds like he still harbors some pain from that game. You know, we, we still got a little time to work it out with the doctor. <laughs> and they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. But the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Ball on the 39. Here's second and a couple. From the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. 
the middle with Barkley. Got a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. He'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence able to record his fifth sack of the season. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Here's a big one. It's fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. And there he goes again! And he's going to take it all the way! What a return, and they've taken the lead. So the second half comeback is now complete. They have battled from behind, taken the lead, and CD now, they just need their defense to stand up here and secure the victory. And remember, they were trailing by double digits, fought their way back into this one. Now we find out the true definition of the team, don't we? Because one side of the ball just did its job. Now it's time for the other one to take over. Don't let them drive downfield and get the deciding score in what time remains. And the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that will make this a four-point game. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Kurtz and the Eagles now. Down by four, 44 seconds to go. They've won three in a row, but they've got work to do if they want to get a fourth in a row as they come up on first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gasp from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Now this thing gets marked where it went out of bounds, so they're going to have really good starting field position near midfield. 
Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time, and going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So a big one coming here for Brandon Aubrey. With two seconds left in regulation, this to force overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So it's the Eagles who will get the first chance to go down and find a winner as they'll get it here, and we are back underway. Now they can't bring him down. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The visitors' offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Charles, you think back to halftime, they had the big lead. They were in control of this game. They lost that lead. But ultimately, right now, with the ball in overtime, a chance to win this thing. And you know each guy's telling his teammate, just let it go. Don't worry about it. We're starting fresh right here. What happened before does not matter. What happens right now and going forward, that's what matters. Let's find a way to win this game. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, partner, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's got to get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish physical runner doesn't worry about yardage just keeps moving the chains being a team player they geared up and took the deep shot downfield but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage extra defenders in the area and that one winds up incomplete here's hurts to throw trying to find barkley on the out route and he's got him and he's going to have another first down here as the tackles made at the cowboys 33 They'll try the right side here. Barkley. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans screaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. 